Yes, uh, students, I'm still waiting uh, for you all to join the class. Please tell your friends that you have to join the class. They can't afford to be absent. There are many students I've not seen their faces for a long, long time. And uh, the names are there with the class in charge. And obviously, for uh, your board exams, you know that you need uh, attendance, right? So we have been reminding you time and again, if your attendance is short, you are going to be in a big problem. It's going to be a big problem for you. all. Now, if you look at the screen, tell me now, can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? I know you can't, right? And the screen has frozen. Yes. Can you see the screen? Amritpal, is it visible? Mehul, is it visible? Yeah, okay, right. Thank you. Thank you. Fine. So now what are we going to do today? Let us just go through the kinds of passages, right? If anybody has a big problem, you can come and sit here with me and we can have a look at the passage together if you don't have that. So you're sharing, everybody is managed with the sample paper? Yes. Now, see, you have two passages. We have discursive passages, right? Both of them, look at that here. Yeah, let's have a look, yeah. So we have it over here, yes, as a, you know, yes, uh, discursive as well as informative. Now look at the first paragraph. So do you want me to read it for you? No, we're not going to read it. Okay, let's just have an idea. The choices we make, wearing a seat belt, lifting heavy objects, correctly or purposely staying out of any dangerous situation, can either ensure our safety or bring about potentially harmful circumstances. You and I need to make a decision that we are going to get our lives in order. Self-control, self-discipline, establishing boundaries and borders, Gursimur, why are you not reading? You have to read. I'm not giving you the answers. You're going to tell me the answers. Read the passage. Come on. At home also. Yes. So then you're going to say, ma'am, don't move the screen. We have to read it. So take out your phones and look at the sample paper. If you have, if your phones are available, if you're doing on this gadget only on, on the same one, then you just please look at the screen. I'll give you time to read it. Read it, please. What? What is equilibrium? It's a balance to maintaining, a, a, you know, equilibrium. And that is what all it's about. What is, what's your physics about? Your chemistry is about maintaining that equi equilibrium, isn't it? That is it. Yes, uh, red. See, this is a beautiful passage which tells us that how we are there, you know, like we have to decide the kind of life, right? We can think it's a kind of exciting to live life on the edge. Life on the edge, dangerously, right? Always having those limits, always having those boundaries that you have to cross. So we think that makes life very, very but otherwise, uh, what uh, you are putting yourself at a problem. So what are you supposed to do? You're supposed to live the life the way you want to. Let's not bother what other people say or think. And we need to make sure that we may live a life that has a balance. Okay? Right. Yes. Uh, what? Workaholic. Workaholic means a person who works a lot. Right? So one who is really addicted to working, he has to work so much. He's a workaholic, okay? Right? So now see here, as we were reading this passage, we have come across two words that we are uh, not uh, familiar with. Let's keep on reading now more and we'll come along with more words. Yes. Done? Have you read it? Okay, so I am not going to hurry. I Maybe these two days we're going to discuss uh, this pa paper only, okay? Because I want to read and understand. Because here, the base of your paper this time is reading. If you have read, take time to think and understand. Sometimes, you know, we are in a hurry. 
दिस इज नॉट योर कॉम्प्रीहेंशन दैट यू हैड अर्लियर ओके क्वेश्चन देखे आंसर ढूंढे क्वेश्चन देखे आंसर देखे लाइन आंसर फाइन दैट इट नो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी श्योर ऑफ यूर सेल्फ now can we start with the first question have you read the passage okay that's nice now on the basis of your understanding any 10 questions please be careful about the choices right if you have 60 questions and you have to do 50 attempt 50 don't do 51 last will be deleted you will not get marks for it even if it is correct so make sure that the number of questions that you attempt is the number that has been asked you to do now the reason why living on the edge has become popular is because of the what why is living on the edge what is living on the edge living on the edge is dangerously why is it because constant need for something different population being much younger exhausting effort to make changes or strong tendency to stay in our limits yes who's going to give me the answer yes one yes what is your question which is your passage which passage is this wait right now please look at the paper and let's uh, hurriedly just go through it have you read the paragraph have you read the paragraph those who you at home nature is our mother first teacher greatest lesson that she teaches us is to maintain this one yes okay we learn to maintain composure and here the source is also given so uh, you can find more passages if you want to practice okay so 8 out of 10 according to the author what is the greatest lesson being taught by nature what is the greatest yes balance in our emotions now select the option that suitably completes the dialogue with reference to paragraph 2 look at it with time a sapling grows into a full grown tree one thing please students do not feel over confident that okay i read the passage once if you have to turn back again and again please refer to the content because this is the reading that you have to do okay so here no matter how tall it grows how much it may flourish or how many animals and birds it may support its roots are firmly buried from where it once was so that's a lesson to keep ourselves grounded respect and embrace our roots and give something back to those humble beginnings that nurtured us into who we are right now if you had to make a dialogue what is this uh, paragraph about what is it to remember our roots yes so right i've done well for my if i'm the best they have i can admi get admission anywhere this is my moment see the boys are so arrogant right congratulations just remember we should yes respect the origins from where we have grown so we have understood what is there in that paragraph now next one choose the option that conveys the message in i am because we are where is where is there i am because we are there is a message of peaceful coexistence what does coexistence mean what does coexistence mean to live together very nice that is there to live together yes uh, just link can you see the screen so i am because we are that means uh, if we are together only then we can survive i cannot survive individually what is this tigers are dependent antelopes are dependent humans are dependent or everyone is dependent yes absolutely correct what qualities do the birds and squirrels display when they warn others of possible danger now once again here please keep on looking back i wonder if you have noticed that when birds or squirrels see a predator they give out an alarm call to their fellow creatures of the lurking danger they put themselves in danger to save the lives of others many animals like the salmon use really die after this spawn but that doesn't stop them one life extinguished for the betterment of others is a small price to pay so they putting themselves in danger right the squirrels are they warning of the other animals 
but the animals might come chasing them, isn't it? So they're putting their own life. So what do they do? What is it? Determination to protect themselves, is it? Or selfless assistance to help others? Are they determined to protect themselves or they are also helping others also? Yes, yes selfless assistance. See, this is it. See, we, we discuss these options and we realize on first thought it is, yeah, to protect themselves. But why do they make that noise? To save others, right? Okay. Now, select the option with the underlying words that can suitably replace lurking. Where have we read lurking before? Very good. Very good. Uh, Dhruv, yes, lurking. It should be lurking behind the shadows near the tall grass right or lurking near the water hole right so what does lurking mean here look at it now paragraph four the option is given to you see what the meaning conveys over here yes of the lurking danger of the danger which is there around them right so what is it the women uh, sorry the policeman pulled up the person who was wandering aimlessly no the thief knew that remaining hidden was the best strategy. Yes. Policeman was caught on camera while pouncing with force to grab the fleeing culprit. The thief was walking boldly into the house. So which one? Lurking, hidden. Very nice. Okay, so you got it correct. Now this one, a portmanteau, words like smoke. It is two words, smoke and fog. Right? Like uh, we have uh, many words which have been made nowadays, joining two words, in which parts of multiple words are for, um, to you know, make a new word. Generally, it is not the complete word. Sometimes it is both the words here, right? Now select a quote, Montu, that appears in Paris 6. Paris 6, which word appears? And Guru Simba Jyot is going to give me the answer. Which one is it? Para six. Is coexistence there? Working plus alcoholic, isn't it? Right? So a workaholic. Yeah, absolutely. So don't give your uh, wild guesses over here. Okay? Right. Now select the qualities from paragraph three that the author wants us to imbibe. What all has he talked about here? about being helpful, about being understanding. Yes, Bhavin has not even bothered to open the paper. Wait a minute, let's open it. Why are we waiting? We have September, May, when the exam will then I'll see. Right? What are the qualities? Acceptive, passionate, emotional, resilient, perceptive. Do you know the meaning of all these? What is resilient? Before I can ask you, he's asking me. What is resilient? Yeah, that. Anybody? Rishit? Tiger chapter me pada resilient. Resilient means to have the strength to bounce back again. Right? To face your problems again. You know, have the courage to rise up. Okay? So what is it he's telling us? Is it, uh, what is perceptive? What is perceptive? Here in this concept, perception kya my thoughts, ideas, right? Okay, so perceptive, to be thoughtful about, to be aware of, okay? Right, so what are the qualities we should have here? From the paragraph three, of course, let us see here. There's a message of peaceful coexistence. Acceptance aage ke ni peaceful coexistence mein. Then I am because we are, understanding, right? Nature provides, however the existence depends on. The tiger eats the antelope without the tiger. Likewise, without tigers, over, right? What is it? What, uh, what are the options here? Two is passionate, four is resilient, and five is perceptive, right? Second is not uh, correct here. Acceptive. Is it emotional? No, no. So we, we don't want option three, isn't it? Right? So acceptive, resilient, perceptive. Absolutely correct. So it is C option. Now, which of the following is shown by the changing of seasons? 
beauty of nature nature's creativity all seasons are equal nothing lasts forever yes nothing lasts forever seasons change winter will not always be there winter will come to an end which season will come spring will come right autumn will come summer will come all seasons will come what does the writer advise in paragraph 4 what does he say sorry six sorry take a break smell the roses do whatever smell the roses does it literally mean smell the roses yes what does it mean smell the roses appreciate nature appreciate the beauty around you okay right and so what is it here sixth one what does it teach us having free time for our selves when you going to smell the roses when you stop and you going to do something that you like right choose the option that lists the best quote oh my god this is difficult what do you think is the central idea of this passage it's about nature nature teaches us so many lessons nature teaches us peaceful coexistence nature teaches us uh, admire the beauty nature teaches us nothing lasts forever so many things now look at the thought here nature she pardons no mistakes her yea is yea and her nay nay look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better nature never deceives us it is we who deceives ourselves all the ugliness of the world can be best forgotten in the beauty of nature is it b or is it d b yeah it's not only you forget the ugliness of the world and uh, can be found it is more than that look deep into nature then you will understand everything better yes students at home did you get the answer yes that's nice that's nice very nice now look at this one this is more of statistical next one is this one was uh, discursive talking about a topic understanding right here this is understanding statistics right is here me a hua it the percentage thi all that stuff here. even that can also be a little confusing yes now take a time i'm giving you 2 minutes read the paragraph but you need more than that and i would say when you reading the paragraph okay read it nicely slowly right then when you doing the questions quickly flip back to the paragraph okay report reads published material is the basis of this is this the hollywood adaptation of my cousin rachel was shown to have a significant impact on the sales of the daphne du maurier thriller the sales of the book accounted for 23% of sales since 1992 in 2017 adapted films tend to perform better because films can leverage the popularity of well known books to an existing audience films adapted from books what is this passage about it's about how impact of the films right how they make uh, or how they are more popular isn't it yes where is it leverage means usko aur advantage de dete hain right they make it more popular films adapted from books also tend to have a richer more fully because naturally they already have a nice story come on red in the case of 2016 of the night manager while the novel was in circulation for 25 years 82% of the copies so even now when we look at the movies which have been based on books once the movie is there release the book becomes even more popular isn't it so this is what he is trying to say this is the gist this is the idea with a lot of statistics okay right now come on yes yeah, students at home have you read the paragraph let me have a look at you all what are you doing have you read yes jasleen harshit nishta tejveer yes ayush raghav vishesh 
Kartike. Kartike is such a good boy. I don't see him performing well. Kartike, what's wrong with you? And one Kartike is missing from the scene. That's it. What's happened to everybody? Vishesh, are you listening? Chahar, Disha? Disha got full marks. Okay. Come on, let's hurry up fast. We have a lot of work to do. No time to waste. The purpose of the research by Publishers Association was to study the dash. What was it? Yes. Yes. The connection between books and films? Okay, yes. Or impact of films on books? Films based on books take 44% more at the revenue in the UK and 53% more worldwide than original. The report explores what a book has, what impact a book has when you adapt it for film and TV. Okay, so what is it? Yes, it is impact of films on books. We started with D and we ended up with B. Okay, so read to the passage again. Select the option that is true, true for the two statements given below. The revenues generated at the box office have increased. Majority of the top films in the UK are based on published material. One is the result of two. Revenues increase because of films based books. One is the reason for two. One is the result of two. Yes, so one is the result of two revenue generation because the book the films are made from books. Okay. Now, the sales of the book in 2017 alone accounted for 23% of all sales since 1992. They were 23% higher sales in 2017 than previous years. A major chunk of sales happened in 2017. Sales were limited to 23%. There were very few books in the previous year sold. Yes. So in 2017, a major chunk of sales happened. Okay. Shantanu is not reading or he's not got the answer. According to the research, the films based on books have greater success because people like to see the character from the books on screen. What about Harry Potter? Think of Harry Potter. The books were there and the movies, right? So people watch the movies also, right? I think that is the first example where uh, the movies have been as successful as the books also, right? No, you don't agree? Yeah, you do agree, no? So people like to see the character. They want to see uh, Harry Potter and Hermione and all the characters there, is it? Films get the advantage of the fame of the books. People, the book, the films get the popularity, yes. It takes less effort for people to watch films. Lazy people, we are, is it? Films get a ready-made script. Yeah? C is absolutely wrong. No, don't think what you think. Think what the passage is saying. Is it B, films get the advantage of the fame of the books? Not all books are famous. Not all books are famous. They get popularity when they're made into movie. Yeah. D, absolutely correct. The script is ready-made. A book is going to be much better than the script. So much of research, so much of, uh, you know, depth there. So book is going to be much better. Select the option what the given sentence refers to. Films adapted from books also tend to have a richer, more developed full story to draw on. So what I'm trying to say is very clear here. Plot and the storyline of such films are better. Characters are likely to be more vivid, not necessary. 
production of such films is meant for the rich and famous no settings and costumes are adapted yes the making of such films require the author to write a sequel no not necessary so plot is much better characters are likely to be more vivid and yes it could be the settings and costumes are adapted because everything is available for them so they don't have to do much work here so please all of you have the sample paper if you don't have the sample paper i will uh, share